Hey everybody, so we're playing as USC in Retro Bowl, and this is uh, with my edited versions of the teams where every team is a college team. So we are currently playing as USC, and this week we're playing against West Virginia, and we're actually having to travel to West Virginia. So we'll see how this game goes. I don't know that home field matters much in this game, but we'll find out. Last week we blew out Washington, which is one of our conference rivals, and it looks like we're not going to do the same thing to this team. <laughs> uh, last week we shut out Washington. This week it uh, looks like they've already scored on us in the very beginning of the game. So this might be more of a uh, offensive shootout. I'm going to look to throw here. Looks like I have plenty of time. I overthrew that a little bit, but he still caught it. And we have a 15-yard gain on the first play of the game. Let's see here. I'm going to throw it again way down there. Ooh. That was a little bit dangerous. Thankfully, it wasn't intercepted. Another quick throw to the middle. We are moving right down the field on West Virginia. Now, one thing about this quarterback is I haven't invested in a better quarterback yet. And I probably won't bother to, but his range is not super far, which can be a, a problem if you're trying to score really fast. Perfect. Touchdown. We, we were able to score on our first drive of the game, and I'm going to go for a two-point conversion to give us a little bit of an advantage since they only went for one. It'd be nice to have that one-point advantage on them. And we got it. So we are up 8-7, to seven, uh, starting off against West Virginia, and it's the end of the first quarter. So let's see if they can score on us again. If they do, then... Oh, well, they got a field goal. That's halfway uh, stopping them. It's not a complete stop. So they are ahead now, 10 to 8. But just holding them to a field goal is a big uh, win. I think that will probably mean that we'll probably win this. Unless I throw an interception, which is definitely possible. Or fumble. Those are the worst, because you can't control those at all. Got the first down. We are already almost a half field. Let's see, I'm about to get sacked, but I don't... Ooh, -hoo. that was a little bit dangerous. I thought I was about to throw an interception there. That would have been a disaster. This defense is pretty good. Uh, I thought maybe this would just be a shootout game, but they're making me have to work for the yards. Only 36 seconds left in this half, so I have to score pretty fast. Thankfully, I don't really have to worry about them having enough time to score again. So I can basically score whenever I want to. If you watch the uh, Ohio State season, you'll know that I made the mistake of not running down the clock in the last playoff game. And they ended up getting a touchdown and then uh, doing an onside kick and then getting another touchdown. I never got a chance to recover from that. So... Definitely don't want to leave them too much time to score. And it is the second half now. We are up 16 to 10, and we get the ball to start with, so we have a chance to make it a two-score game. That would be... I need to uh, change my return, my kick return, to be a uh, my really fast receiver. Because the person they lost times give you by default is really slow. Ooh, <laughs> I'm outrunning all the defense. Let's see how long my stamina lasts if I can actually get a touchdown. Doesn't look like it, unless it's a missed tackle. Is it going to be? Oh, it's a missed tackle. Okay, so we got our second touchdown. That was a 78-yard touchdown. That's a pretty long touchdown. I'm just going to do an, a regular extra point at this point. Make it 23-10. to 10. I guess if I had done two points, I guess it would have been a full two uh, scores. Like, or a, Yeah, I guess I should have done that. Oh, well. West Virginia is going to have to go for a field goal again. So they are 10 points behind. They're still within range. That If I threw an interception, I could technically lose this, but it's looking pretty good for us. It's looking pretty good for USC at this point. About to be the end of the third quarter, 
and we just got another first down. So 13 yard gain. I think we can score at least one more time. I do have to worry a little bit. No, actually, if I score here, I think it will be a three score game. So I don't even have to worry about onside kicks at that point. So I'm actually just going to score however fast, however fast I can. See, do a quick throw there. It worked. Oh, and a missed tackle too. Touchdown. We are going to be up. Uh, I have to decide. I think I'll go for two this time. So let's see if we, let's see if we can make it 32. And we can. Or sorry, not 32. 31 to 13. So we are already up. I believe that's three scores now. So they get the touchdown. They don't get the two-point conversion, so they're behind 11 points with 24 seconds left. It's over. We won this game. Uh, USC is going to come out the victor. 16 seconds left. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I might as well uh, see how many more yards I can get out of this. I'm running down the sideline. I'm actually going to go out of bounds right there. I have a chance to score here. I'm actually going to practice my field goals because I really need to practice that. And it's good. 46-yard field goal. That's a long field goal. So we won that 34-19. to Wasn't quite the blowout that the first game was, but it was a pretty easy win. So feeling pretty good about it. So next week, we'll see who we play once I get through all of these menus, which take forever to get through. Here we go. Come on. Perfect. All right. Next week, we are playing Miami. Interesting. So an ACC team, and it looks like we get to play them at home. So, all right, be there next time we play Miami, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I hope you'll leave a like, and I'll see you next time.